Makeup Monday. Today I'm going to show you how to do a winged liner. So I want to kind of show you some different cool tips and tricks on how to perfect the winged liner. Now the winged liner isn't the easiest thing to do in makeup. It's kind of one of those like things you see that's like memed a lot and stuff because one can look really great and the other one's all jacked up. So I'm going to show you kind of a foolproof way of making it look pretty good. Um, now I started wearing winged liner probably five, six years ago and what I used to do was take you know your basic liner um one of my favorites is the chanel cool pencil works awesome so what i would do is actually line the top of my lid and then i would take an angle brush and i just kind of like flare it out so if you don't wear a winged all liner all the time that's actually kind of a good cheat way of doing it plus you actually get a lot of practice that way and if you screw it up it's very very forgiving but today i'm going to actually show you the anastasia um, and it is Anastasia Waterproof Cream Liner. Um, I got this online. It was kind of a good deal. It was through, um, what was it, the uh, Cyber Monday sale. Um, so today what I did was primed my lids. And for that, I actually used NYX HD Primer. Now, one thing I can't stress enough is that you have to use a primer. Primers make things so much easier um, and what I kind of did was applied it to my whole lid But I also kind of extended it a little bit further out that way when I apply my winged liner, it's going to be more smooth so Take my winged liner So I just dip into the product Make sure I coat both sides of my brush and today I'm actually using the Sigma EO 6 brush This is my favorite winged liner brush. It's amazing so what I first do is line the whole top of my lid. I usually start in the middle, no idea why. Kinda do. So you wanna get a nice thin line going across. And I work in both directions. I also open my eye too, which is a good little trick because your eye has so many little like wrinkles and almost like skin folds and stuff in it that when you close your eye it's gonna kind of open and contract so I do it really thin in the corner and I kind of get a little bit wider going out now what I'll do is dip back in a little bit if I need to you can always wipe up wipe off on the cap if you have a little bit of excess and what I do is start from the bottom of my lash line and I'm gonna pull that line out. Now I like more of a modest, smaller wing. I find sometimes when you go really extravagant and far out, you have more of a chance to kind of mess it up. So what I do is start from the bottom, close my eye, and I lightly flare the angle out. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Then what I'll do, take my brush and I'll angle it backwards, but I don't start at the very tip. I start a little bit further back. So right about here. And what I do is kind of blend that back into that line. And then I fill in any spots that need it. But I'm making sure that that line is connected to my bottom lash line. And I'll tell you why in a second. Now I'm gonna go on to the other eye. And with this product, you kind of have to work fast because the product dries. So going around again. Now what I'll do is dip into my product because I need a little bit more. I want a lot of my brush or a decent amount so I can wing out my line so it's nice and smooth. Start from the bottom and lightly flare out. Start halfway or so and ease it into that line. Now a funny thing is this eye on me is actually shaped a little bit differently. So I have to kind of fill in more of a triangular spot that you kind of create down here where it meets the top of your lash line. But you know what though, as long as my angles are pretty much the same, it's okay. Cause you're kind of creating like an illusion. You're basically creating the illusion that your lashes are more full 
and your eyes a little bit more cat-like. All right, now fair warning, you wanna know when to stop because if you don't stop, you're gonna have wings that will extend for days. So for me, that's a good wing for me. Actually, I'm glad I didn't screw that up on camera. Woo! All right, so put that to the side. Now here's the trick that I find a lot of people do not do. My friend Charlene is gonna love me for this one. So I'm taking my shade and light palette and today I'm actually rocking um, this smokier color on the outside corner of my eye. So what I'm gonna do is take a small angular brush, right? It's actually a small, small smudge brush. So I'm gonna dip into my color. And what I'm gonna do is actually connect right here where the edge of the wing starts. I'm actually gonna draw a line and continue this darker shade that I popped in the outside corner down. And you wanna make sure you connect it because it's gonna, if you don't connect it, you're gonna kind of break up your eye. And it's gonna look funny and you don't wanna look funny. You wanna look like you know what you're doing. All right. And usually when I'm doing lower liner, I don't go like the full way, I go halfway. That's gonna help keep your eye look like it's open. Woohoo! And then what I do is finish off my look with mascara. And my favorite mascara is Chanel Le Volume. So worth it. Love this stuff. And I wear black because black's the best. So start at the base, work up. You don't want to pump your mascara too. You want to just kind of swirl it in there. When you pump your mascara, you actually are putting air into the tube and it's gonna dry out the product faster and that means you're gonna have to buy more mascara which means you're spending more money so just make sure you coat your lashes well and you can hit the bottom too if you want mine as well right your hair and we all make the mascara face so there you have it, kiddos, winged liner. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you next Monday. Bye.